like like starting out. Yeah. All right. So hey, I'm Sean McLean, and yes, I failed for I came really close to failing photography one on one. So no joke about that. My usual joke is that I had a far bigger interest in the pretty girl that I shared the dark room with. That's part of the truth. Um, but the reality was that I'd been taking pictures since I was 11, I thought I knew it all, and I just couldn't have been more wrong, right? And, you know, I gotta say, failure, when you fail that hard, and your whole college career changes as a result of that, is an enormous teacher, right? So, okay, off my soapbox about that, failure, big teacher, learn from the move on. Um, everybody likes to ask me, okay, so what are your big inspirations, what are you doing, why? I like to rephrase that. I like to think in terms of artist with a camera. Okay, the great thing about that is that it takes a lot of the edge off. Okay, so I'm not terribly interested in documenting something. I'm more interested in making a beautiful photograph of something. All right. So when you're in a position where you're able to take a beautiful photograph of a mundane subject, you're really onto something. The other big inspirations right now, I've been really into portraiture, and I'm loving it, it's so much fun. Um, and all things California, I mean, big surprise, right? Um, I like all things coastal California. If you, sometimes you see me around sunrise taking pictures of people not surfing. <laughs> right? But literally, I mean, think about it, like bobbing around in the water waiting for the next set to come in. And there's a peaceful moment there, and I love it. Um, how many times can I say I'm? Yosemite, I mean, if there's a way for me to go there and take pictures, especially if it's something hard to do, like I've got to cram all my gear into a 65 liter pack and now hike six or seven miles to go get that particular spot, and if it was hard and it's at altitude, maybe have to outrun a storm on foot on the way back. Oh yeah, I'm in a lot of so And the Eastern Sierra, I spent a lot of time around there. So this is another, another big driver for me right now, and that's actually community building. And this mostly comes out of, a, not a few years ago, I noticed that nobody was hosting photo walks anymore. And I looked around like, okay, why not me? So I started gathering a group of people to go do stuff, mostly neighbors and friends, and people came. And we started a little Facebook group that we called the Highway 9 Photography Group, intended mostly for locals. And it's grown to like 325 people. And we do all kinds of things, right? And we, we get people together, we have talks, um, we go places, we do overnighters like Big Sur and catch the, the sun setting through the, the keyhole arch. It's been amazing. We even did a, uh, a workshop on um, off camera flash, and that was pretty spectacular. Now, out of all that was a surprise. People reached out to me quietly with, hey, we'd love to attend this stuff, but I don't feel like I know enough about photography to make it worth your time. And I'm thinking about like, worth my time? I want you to come, right? So I started a thing that we call Beginner Tuesdays. And for five or six weeks, I offered up a free class for an hour of just the absolute basics, aperture, shutter speed, and whatever, and people came. And at the end of that, I challenged everybody Great, now submit your best work to the county fair. And, you know, so we've raised people up. And the upshot was that I think everybody that submitted something either got an honorable mention, placed, or, or won their category. So how amazing is that, right? To, to help push somebody along through their journey and watch them succeed? That's what I'm looking for right now, okay? That's, that's what's driving me, is this community building and helping people get there. So I believe my, that ought to be about the end of my